Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to make Napa Jack's Citrus Herb Beer Batter for Fish. So this is um, actually not going to be used for fish tonight, but it's a fish style batter. I'm going to be using it on some deep fried ribs. Make sure you check out that recipe, it'll be at the bottom of the screen if you want the rest of this. So here we go, let's get started. So tonight I'm using a really fantastic spice rub from Napa Jacks. This is their citrus herb rub. You can find this online at winecountrykitchens.com. Um, what a lovely foundation of flavor in here. It's very citrusy and tangy. It has a nice little bit of spice, a nice savoriness as well with herbs, okay? So I'm gonna tell you what it shows we have in here. Garlic spices including chili pepper, onion, orange peel, parsley, and paprika. And we're gonna beef up our beer batter with just a little bit other seasoning to just to enhance things all right what a lovely oh it's a nice spice rub oh that's so tasty I can't wait to use it in here all right so we're gonna sift together some dry ingredients let's get this batter made we need to sift some ingredients together and we're gonna use a half a cup of all-purpose flour I'm using another half a cup of breadcrumbs, but they're gonna go in after, and I'm using panko crumbs. And that's, you can use regular breadcrumbs, whatever kind of breadcrumbs you like, or none at all. In fact, you could use just a cup of flour, or you could use no flour and use all a whole cup of breadcrumbs. So between the two, you need a cup, okay? So let's sift the flour. So it's a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm using a tablespoon of paprika, not hot paprika, just a plain paprika, and two teaspoons of ground black pepper. I'm just gonna throw that in because it's a little bit of a more coarser grind. And we're gonna just sift these guys. It'll make sure you have no clumps, and it'll also kind of evenly combine things a little better for you. The batter will also be a little bit lighter and fluffier. Okay, we're gonna add the panko crumbs, half a cup. They have a coarse kind of feel and it's gonna add a nice crunch to our batter. So I'm gonna eyeball about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of our citrus herb rub. And we're just gonna stir that together to make sure that it's evenly combined. Oh, it smells fantastic. I've just made a well in the bottom and I'm going to add an egg and just kind of whisk it in the center. Whisk that up a little bit. Stir the crumb mixture and flour and the spices kind of with it. And now we're gonna add some beer. And we're gonna add enough beer until you hit the consistency of batter that you're looking for. I want a nice thick batter, so I'm going to probably add a little less than some people out there. So tonight I'm using a Waterloo dark beer. Uh, this is from a kind of a local beer to where I'm located. And you can, they're a Waterloo Brewing Company. You can look that up if you like. And we're just gonna start off by eyeballing. And we're gonna just stir that in. A little bit more. Now depending on how thick you want your batter for whether you're using it for fish or, or something like I'm using it for, I'm just gonna have to eyeball. I would reckon I think I used maybe about a cup. So here's the consistency I have tonight, kind of a thicker batter. You want to use this kind of batter relatively quickly because it does have the baking powder and the baking soda in there and you can see it kind of activating. I can see bubbles and the uh, beer kind of helps activate it as well. So you don't want it to lose its, um, its froth, okay? Uh, so use that, just mix it up right before you're about to deep fry things. Make sure your oil is nice and hot before you start trying to mix this up as well, okay? And that's how you do it. That's how you make a Napa Jack's citrus herb beer batter for fish or for whatever you want to batter. You could even do vegetables in here, okay? Really lovely, lovely. I hope you try it. Um, and I guess I'll show you how these ribs turn out right after this. So make sure you test your oil and make sure it's hot before you try and start battering these. And I think we're ready to go. All right, these turned out phenomenally. If you've ever had chicken fried steak, then this is kind of similar to that, I guess, uh, in rib form. Now, oh, they look so good. They're crispy and crunchy. That batter just did its trick. The panko crumbs in there are gonna be nice and crunchy too. Look at that. Oh, don't they look amazing? Now, I'm gonna put them on a platter and we're gonna serve these guys up. Here you go, guys. 
Now these are your beautiful Napa Jacks citrus herb beer batter deep fried pork side roots. Say that 10 times fast. Look at these guys. They are amazing. They look so beautiful. What bunch of tailgaters wouldn't want some of these? Just saying. All right, let's try one of these bad boys. I'm really excited about this. These look amazing. All right, ready? Crispy, you can hear it. Oh, oh come on, are you serious? Hmm. Those are the best ribs I've ever had. Uh, hands down, I don't need any sauce or anything, but you could serve these with barbecue sauce or boss sauce or hot sauce, whatever. The outside is crispy, crunchy. It is savory. It is so delicious. Oh, it's crispy and light. Oh, that's good. The, uh, the, the ribs on the inside are tender and that's why we boiled them first before we did anything. This is phenomenal. Mm. Oh my goodness. You will fall in love with these ribs, I'm telling you. Mm. You may never cook ribs a different way again. Wow. That's off the Richter scale. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. You have got to give this recipe a try. In all honesty, this may be the best thing I've ever made in my life. It is so delicious. It's everything you want it to be. It's meaty pork. It's juicy. It's tender. It is savory. It is crunchy on the outside. Deep bread. I mean, what? how can you go it's wrong? awesome. You got to try them. Make sure you check out winecountrykitchens.com because this spice rub made this all possible. The flavor is unbelievable. You see, we only just boiled them in, in uh, flavored water with some spices and things. And then this is what really flavored the batter and gave us, oh, the flavor that you're just looking for. You could serve this with wedges of lemon, which is probably what I'm going to do. You can cut that, that little bit of fattiness with the lemon and it goes perfectly well with the cigar. I love them, okay? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows run ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly and I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe, interact with us, and let us know what's going on in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.